So now we get to the interesting bits of the bot that we created. <clears throat> we are now going to extend it in a way that we can amend um, the parameters that we give that we gave for the pizza order. So uh, someone can change the type and the size and the amount of pizza. And I've already uh, started here. I've created an intent where the user can change uh, what type of pizza they're ordering. Um, so remember that for our main um, pizza order intent, we had an output uh, context that was intent. So this one has the item context again as an input. Uh, also, once we took the change, uh, we amended the order. We're going to repeat the order and then we're going to prompt again for confirmation which is why at the top we have uh, item confirm as an output context and then it will go into our confirmation intent as training phrases i entered something like oh, actually i changed my mind can i get a marita can i get a veg vegetarian instead um the really interesting part then is the parameters so uh, this comes as no surprise that the first entity which is required is the pizza type here. Um, and then we are again listing the amount and the size. And this is uh, slightly more interesting because now we basically we already have the amount and the size from the previous intent. Uh, and we're just changing the type. But still we need all of uh, the three together to have the full item configuration. So what we're doing here is uh, repeating the parameters and then we're setting as default value the value from the last um, from the last intent, which is, um, yeah, it's it's put through via the item context. So default value, I could also say three and then the amount of pizza would always be three. But if I set it to a dynamic value like this, uh, context from the context then I have the same value as before so now that I already did this for the type I am going oh I need to change first I'm going to this to I never know what is happening here why did this message come okay now it's saved so now I'm going to create a new one to change the size of the order. So item dot size dot change. And then as an input context, again, we have item because we're changing the item configuration. Uh, let's reduce this slightly to three and then confirm item confirm is going to be triggered afterwards uh, we're just prompting for yes or no so a lifespan of one should be enough here then what do we need we need the the size parameter which is nice red warning i don't know why i'm not done yet system dot number as we had before and then we have uh, the yeah the name of the parameter is size and then we're going to do the same as i just showed you for the type so here now i just repeat the type uh, pizza type and also type and then the amount Oh, I made a mistake here. Uh, this belongs here. This is a number, and this, of course, is our custom entity. Uh, pizza size. And then, uh, yeah, just the same name. And now Let's copy this and set as a default value the value from the last intent. And here we have item dot amount. 
And now I just need some training phrases and then it should work fine. Um, wait, can I get it in large? Is something someone might type when they change their mind about their pizza size. Um, and then actually I would like a small, um, okay. So here let's just enter the pizza type again, because it might as well happen that the person says, I would like a small vegetarian instead. And then we have the, uh, pizza type. Okay. I'd like it in small instead. Uh, da, 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 sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna hit save. This should work for now. And some delays again with the saving, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just enter one more. I, oops, or maybe I don't. Canceled, whoa. What happened there? Um, I like a small pizza. Um, let's say, actually, I'd like a small pizza. Okay. Size. Okay, hit save again. And let's see where this takes us. Still saving. Let's just start slow. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'd like uh, one. One large fungi, please. Uh, this didn't work. Maybe because it was still training or because I need some more training. Yeah, now I got it. Okay, um, actually I'd like it in medium. Medium. Okay, so this worked. The only thing I forgot is to add the response. So here I just wanted to recap again. Uh, no problem. Let's amend it to a and then we repeat the type. No, actually we start with the size. So let's amend it to a small pizza margarita, for example. Um, no, let's also have the amount here. Let's amend it to one small pizza margarita instead. Is that correct? Okay. And now, yeah, no, I'm just going to do this once more. Okay, three pizza margarita, please. And normal. Wait, can I get them in large? Not sure if this will work, yeah. Let's amend it to three 14 inch margarita instead. Is that correct? Yes. Loading, loading, loading. Yeah, so this seems to work, great. So now we have our main intent here to start the interaction and we have item size dot change and item type dot change. And then the only parameter left to change is amount. 
So I'm also going to create uh, another intent item dot amount dot change. But I think you got the concept, so I'm not going to film it. I'll just do it afterwards. Um, so just to recap real quick, we have an item context where we pass through the um, parameters from the item. And then if someone wants to change or amend one parameter, we basically repeat all the parameters here, put training data here. And then the crucial part is the default value, which is set to item dot and then the parameter that was already gathered in the previous intent. And that's it. All right. So see you in the next video.